Now, if I'm going to shoot a hell, which train do I take? Out of the smelly darkness into... Well, not that much better. Shave the haircut. You're going to hurt yourself. I could use a bit of money. Afternoon. And I bet Stuart wouldn't Sally. mind having a few oh. Sally specials. You never come by anymore. Well, Siona. Oh, Cerberus. Aye. She's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh. You're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower.
wonder what you think of him. You will take your joy immediately. Stop skulking around. Stand up like a decent citizen. No stakes in my garden! Home, James. I am so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Well, General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. Then you ought to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> Let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. Couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah! Dance with me, Robert. Shame I won't remember any of you. You do come here to forget. Please don't still be here. He'll forget. He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the General. Yes, yes. Mommy's gonna feed you. Don't look at me with those big eyes. Oh, no one has ever fed you ever, have they? Me, me, Mummy. someone meet usual place oh for heaven's sake Mikey you could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower
risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. It's because I don't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around, all intense like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. Uh, this ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen of White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> That horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be oh, ridiculous. Oh, you of little faith. I'd never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of How him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. Uh, I've been living in the Garden the District. The Garden District? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh God. I could help you. I do No, General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wandering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash of V1? These days, I spend a lot of time there, remembering. Look, it's a horrible, terrible world out there, and no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help. And I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well... There's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. Colonel Lawrence? Wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. I bet I can just walk right on in. Sorry, I'm very busy. The family is in mourning. And will be, shortly. With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's, he's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but he's very old. And, and we've decided to, to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> This is really just to help ease the way. Help him sleep. Wouldn't mind if he slept a bit more. Always ringing that goddamn bell. All right. I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in the other end. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd like to administer it. I can do that. I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. Mm. 
No, <sighs> it's in the will. The we odious agreed. McClear sisters. That was before you pissed on the Sheraton sofa. I did not. It was Edmund. You put him up to it because it comes to me in the will. Serves you right. You knew I loved that sofa. Well, you can have it now. What will you trade me? For a pissed on sofa? You'd have to pay me to take it off your hand. Honor? Regina? No. Is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. How horrible. You survived artillery and mustard gas, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not Hope, are you? Who are you? Who? Anna! Regina! Help! This will only sting a little. I hope. <laughs> You deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. All right. I have my maturity extract and my amalgam. I need to replace the saffron and the methadrone. How do I get those? Hmm. Figures. Your rabbit peed on my books. And then you let your snake eat him. Uncle Ed? Sally Boyle! What a lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush. You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? The weird sisters. They're always making potions and things out of herbs. I bet they could help me.